Hey, if you're an electrician, statistics like that should startle you. I mean, every day, one or two people in the U.S. die from arc flash incidents. Thousands of life-threatening burns every year? I mean, this is serious stuff. Preventing arc flash incidents should be a high priority for anyone and everyone who works with and around energized equipment. And that's what these programs are all about. Hey, I'm Jimmy, and I'll be walking you through the basics in each of the five electrical safety programs developed by the Electrical Safety Foundation International and made possible by support from Wesco Distribution and its supplier partners. Now, right now, you're watching the intro. The programs that you can select from the menu options include an overview of the 70E standard and how it relates to OSHA regs, etc. Electrical Safety 101 for the construction industry, which is a basic safety reminder for all you construction guys who do installs and modifications. Next, we have the Electrical Safety 101 for the commercial and industrial markets. Now, this is a safety program for maintenance, repair, and, and anybody else who works with all kinds of energized equipment in all kinds of businesses. Next up, you have the test before you touch program. It walks you through the de-energize and test before you touch process. And last, we have the job planning and work permits program. Now this video shows you what safe practices you and your crew should perform before you strap on a tool belt. Now remember, these are not training programs. Proper training requires hours and hours of study plus tons of hands-on training. These are awareness programs and they give you a general overview of each of these important topics. Now don't be one of those guys who assumes that he knows it all. See, assumptions are one of the major causes of on-the-job injuries and even deaths. Now there goes a walking assumption, an accident that is just waiting to happen. And we're probably not going to have to wait very long. See, that guy is a good example of what this program is all about, making sure that you don't wind up like him. Now, throughout this series, we're going to be showing you the right way to do things. And thanks to our good old buddy Carl, you'll be getting another perspective. So if you're an employer, a safety director, an electrician, or a maintenance professional, you should know that for anyone who works around energized equipment, safety is the most important issue. And whether you work with low voltage, 600 volts or less, or high voltage, 600 volts or higher, you know that electricity is nothing to mess around with. I mean, it's serious business. I forgot my gloves. Now look at Carl. See, he assumes that now he's got his work gloves. Hey, he's ready to go to work. You know, the sad part is, not only is Carl likely to get himself hurt, but he's probably setting up some other unsuspecting guys for a trip to the hospital. Hey, we're all in a hurry. There's more and more pressure every day to get the job done faster, to cut costs, but safety should never be sacrificed. Never. Now, you may assume that you know everything there is to know about working around energized equipment. See, that's, that's a very dangerous attitude. I thought that equipment was de-energized. I thought that panel was locked and tagged out. I thought I was just in that bucket last week. Now, every one of these are assumptions that led to someone getting hurt or that could be carved as an epitaph on some poor guy's tombstone. Look, if you learn only one thing from these videos, don't assume. You got that?